The Chao Praia is, I would say, the main artery of, the main artery through the country of Thailand. So it's, it's, a, it's a central river culturally and economically for, for the country and for the city of Bangkok. So we first came to the Chao Praia with the, with the solution in mind and the solution was the Interceptor original. So has, had he heard of the Interceptor? Yeah. He'd heard of it already? Yeah. He says it's good if we have the Interceptor to collect the cash. So it's like the Chao uh, looks clean. As you've seen along the river, this is not a, a straightforward uh, issue to solve. Firstly, there's the plastic. There's also water hyacinths that bloom throughout the year. There's also navigation that the river is key for. And there's people living along the river and, and making their living from the river. So we're trying to get an uh, interceptor in the water, operating and run and owned locally so that it can have a positive impact to reducing plastic emissions to the ocean. The impact will be, I think, both through the visibility of the system uh, and how it, how it changes perspectives of, of plastic pollution as a problem and also through the actual technical uh, efficiency of the system. So that's what we're doing at the moment here. Our current project is a, is a, is a stepping stone to, for us. We, there's a lot for us to learn from it and is from our own project development, but also from the approach of the city in general towards plastic pollution in the river. It's, it's a mixture, I suppose, because you go to these places and you see what negative effects humanity can have on a, such a large scale. So I feel bad in one sense about the environment because we're, we're not doing enough for the environment, but the people who are close to it are also trying their best as well. Uh, so it needs to be, it, if we're creating such a big mess, it needs to be a big action that, that solves it, not, not just relying on, let's say, the end of the pipe or the consumer to fix it. It needs to be an all, yeah, a, a large team effort to, get, to, get, to have any real impact. Because there's always a local initiative happening, it, it, that's what gives me energy when I'm in the field, and that's what's something I'd like us to share more as well, just to celebrate the local efforts. Today, BMA is taking us out on one of their garbage collection boats to show us what they're doing every day to keep uh, the rivers of Bangkok clean. There's around 50 like, boats going around each day. So the yellow boats, they are run by the municipality, so by the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration. What we have in Bangkok is, rather than having to build an infrastructure, there is already an infrastructure that we can just tap into. This is not the first time the municipality is dealing with river waste. So it's so easy to explain what you need and to think about next steps to optimize because people understand. And I think there is where I feel very confident about yeah, the future for cleanup in Bangkok. The understanding is there, the willingness is there, and it really feels like with a few tweaks here and there, some maybe some technology, it's very realistic that we can end the pollution in Chao Praia River, or close the tap as we like to say it, rather than going to a place and the, the challenge being so big that you're not even sure if you're ever gonna reach the end. <laughs> อยากจะทําความสะอาดให้แม่น้ําของเมืองไทยมันสะอาดขึ้นนะครับมันมาจากที่แรงบันดาลใจของเราเอ่อ oh, he said that he want to make it like as clean as possible and also he said that he feels sad when he saw it because he want Chapaya River to be as clean as possible for like Thai people to appreciate it and also like as of his uh, interest he feels that this is what he would like to do to make it all clean for, so for us, we're trying to rid the world's oceans of plastic uh, and that's the same uh, ambition as BMA has when it comes to collecting waste in Bangkok. Um, so I think it's really important for us to find partners who are like-minded 
who have the capacity, the manpower, uh, the willingness to help us solve the issue of plastic pollution. What they're doing here is an amazing job. So I think what we should do is figure out, can we do anything to help them do an even more amazing job uh, and work together to tackle the pollution that we see. It's going to be very nice. <laughs> but it's a nice view where we can read the information and we can see the interceptor over there. <laughs> Uh, at first, I don't know what it is, but when I read the name, uh, so I think that this may be the uh, the board to clean the liver. That is very nice. I I think it's very good. So the problem, the environmental problem, especially the marine debris, is come from everyone. So to solve the problem, the real problem is has to be solved from the people. This project is not only try to collect the marine little as much as possible but also it will expose to the community also to the people in Bangkok that can see it and maybe they will notice it what is it they will wonder what what is it and what it works and then from that glance maybe everybody will think that why do we have to wait for the other people to work to reduce our own problem so maybe I do believe that with this ex exposure and then the promotion of this activity so everybody will will realize more that it's our own own mandate and it's our life and it's our mission to reduce the marine litter.